for 20 years. Right to Play has empowered a generation to rise using the power of play. Each year, millions of children in Africa, Asia, Canada, and the Middle East are harmed by disease, displacement, poverty, and war. We harness the power of play to transform their lives. Through play-based learning, children become healthier, safer, stronger, bolder, and more resilient. We teach children how to protect themselves, ignite their potential to learn, and empower them to create a brighter future for themselves and their families. We keep children in school and out of work. We show them how to prevent disease. And we give girls confidence to challenge harmful traditions and practices. Together, we can empower the next generation to rise. Find out how you can help. Up next is Yasmin Rashid, the Sustainability Director in Malaysia at Lendlease. Yasmin will be giving a case study presentation on the concept and the development of Kuala Lumpur's The Exchange TRX and discuss how its climate resilient and adaptable features fit the sustainability framework of Malaysia's newest financial district. Hi, I'm Yasmin Rashid, Sustainability Director from Land Lease Malaysia. Climate change represents one of the greatest challenges facing humanity in the present century. One of the biggest contributors to this global warming of the planet is the burning of fossil fuels from man-made activities, also known as anthropogenic activities. We have burned so much fuel into the air that is not just causing our air to be polluted, but also making the planet hotter. A report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, has revealed that the planet today has already warmed by 1 degree Celsius above pre-industrial levels in 2017. So why are we so worried about just the 1 degree Celsius increase in temperature? Because the impacts are devastating, and if nothing is being done today, these impacts will further increase in frequency and magnitude in decades to come. Some of the climate change impacts that we are already experiencing and facing today are changing weather patterns, more frequent and intense storms, urban heat waves, among others. To avoid the occurrences of much larger and more severe impacts of climate change, it's super urgent that we coordinate all the key stakeholders to reduce global carbon emissions. But that's just not enough. We also need to increase the resiliency and adaptive capacity of our built environment and the communities around it. The built environment, and this includes building and construction, is responsible for close to 40% of the global carbon emissions. And out of this 40%, about 28% of the carbon emission comes from operational emissions, which is the energy used for heating, cooling and lighting up the buildings. The other 11% comes from embodied carbon emissions, which is what we call upfront carbon, associated with materials and the manufacturing processes involved in making our construction materials. At Landlease, we are committed to climate action. We recognize our big contribution to global car carbon emissions. So this is why we are responding by developing our sustainability framework. The sustainability framework responds to the need to plan for future generations by integrating an environmental and social focus into every part of our business. Just recently, we launched the Asia Mission Zero Roadmap. Our goal for the next three decades is to be net zero carbon by 2025 and absolute zero carbon by 2040. 
What the roadmap helps is details our decarbonization pathways in the years to come. One of the developments that I have been very privileged to work with is the Exchange TRX, the new social heart of Kuala Lumpur. To find out more, let's watch this quick video clip on the Exchange TRX. Nobody knows what tomorrow will bring, but we can make it amazing. Food and friends will be more enjoyable. Fashion, more elevated. Our culture will matter, as will the arts. Experiences will be twice as rewarding. While work turns into a breeze, our home will be our source of pride. While our holidays, the first of its kind, and nature will love it more than ever. Nobody knows what tomorrow will bring. That's why we built it. Welcome to the Exchange TRX, the new social heart of Kuala Lumpur. At Landlease, we understand that our work plays a significant role in creating vibrant, socially inclusive communities that are adaptive and resilient to the impacts of climate change and valued by the people who will live, work and play there. That is why Landlease has undertaken a climate risk analysis of the Exchange TRX to inform its design and support planning around the key climate risk that are very likely to impact the development and the community around it. We published the findings from this analysis, it's on our website, and it's called the Climate Change Adaptation and Resilience Plan, or I call it for short, the CCAR Plan. The plan presents the methodology and findings of our climate risk analysis. In addition, the plan also highlights how the Exchange TRX is reducing its vulnerability to climate change impacts in its design strategies and features. And at the same time, contribute to increasing the adaptive capacity and resiliency of the community around the Exchange. The CCAR report has identified four key climate risks or events that will impact the Exchange TRX in years to come. These impacts are heat waves, water scarcity, air pollution, and urban flash floods. So we responded to this by ensuring that the Exchange TRX is consciously designed with a strong focus on establishing a connected community and creating a climate resilient building with supporting infrastructure. Now allow me to share and highlight the key design features of the Exchange TRX that future-proofs the precincts, buildings and infrastructure against the impacts of climate change. I'll also share with you some initiatives that connect residents, workers and visitors to create a strong sense of community. Let's talk about heat waves. How does the Exchange TRX ensure that it's built to withstand the anticipated increase in temperature while making sure that we offer comfort to the people that will work, live and play in the precinct. So some of the ways that we're tackling this urban heat wave is by making sure that we instill passive design in our building, like making sure awning structures and vegetation are planned to provide natural shading in open space areas. We've also ensured that a range of trees, climbers and understory gardens have been strategically placed to provide solar shading to pedestrian areas and to reduce the effects of urban heat island. In addition, outdoor furniture are primarily positioned beneath shaded areas and will utilise materials with low conductivity to prevent potential for contact burns during extreme ambient temperatures. Not forgetting water features as well, because they really help in battling heat wave, and they are part of our design of recreational areas to increase comfort during hot outdoor conditions. The walkways at the Exchange TRX also feature a selection of pavements that are predominantly light grey and salt wash concrete finish to reflect solar radiation and reduce further urban highland heat effects. The MRT pedestrian connection also provides air-conditioned access routes to the Exchange TRX to further reduce heat stress on workers, visitors or even tourists to and from the precinct. 
And what about flash floods? In the decades to come, storms and erratic weather patterns are projected to increase in magnitude and frequency. This results in urban flash floods, which can damage not just properties, but also incur economic and social losses to the city of Kuala Lumpur. At the Exchange TRX, we have adapted our design to ensure that the public realm will be located on an elevated podium, while the stormwater system has been specifically designed to effectively attenuate and cater for extreme rainfall and urban flood events. Additionally, the Exchange TRX also is featuring a 10-acre rooftop park, my favourite part, comprising of sprawling landscapes, permeable paving, and water-sensitive urban design strategies. These are all adopted to maximise on-site retention of water from storm events, maximise infiltration, and protect assets both on-site and downstream from potential localised flooding events due to increased rainfall intensity. The Exchange TRX has adopted necessary measures to protect against inundation under flood modelling during the lifetime of the development. With the flood level identified at RL39.3, the overall public realm, which is the Northwest Plaza, that level is designed to be at least RL40 and above. The Exchange TRX platform was further raised to RL41.0, giving the precinct a 1.7 meter buffer against flooding. Ramps with humps at all ingress points and dewatering pumps within the basement act as additional measures to further prevent urban flash flood. So, how do we tackle air pollution in Kuala Lumpur? In Malaysia, we experience poor air quality when traffic is congested or when the seasonal haze occurs in the region. With more frequent and intense irresponsible burning of plantations, whether inside or outside our country's borders, this will increase the risk of poor air quality and smoke penetration into the building. This risk may negatively impact human health and decrease occupant satisfaction and comfort. So how do we deal with this at the TRX? Our building facades have been designed with well sealed envelope to minimise air quality issues and improve passive energy performance of our building. Commercial buildings are also all equipped with MERV 14 filtration, capable of filtering up to 71% of harmful PM2.5 particles. Combined with the stringent low VOC materials requirements of LEED and GBI, all our internal spaces will provide a high degree of healthy indoor air quality. So the final and last climate change event or impact that we have identified through the CCAR report is water scarcity. At the Exchange TRX, a site-wide water strategy has been developed to reduce our water consumption. The Exchange TRX is targeting to reduce portable water demand by 50%, through the selection of water efficiency measures, maximizing on-site rainwater retention, and water recycling systems. And this, all three, helps us recover over 80% of our wastewater. Recycled water produced by the plant will be used for toilet flushing, landscape irrigation, and cooling tower makeup. So how do we ensure that at the Exchange TRX, we are also able to increase social resiliency of the communities that live inside or outside the Exchange? We have a 10-acre activated park with 2 kilometers of walking pathways and recreational space with over 150,000 locally sourced plants from close to 150 native plant species. That's a lot of plants and a lot of green spaces. Inclusive, accessible and dignified facilities are also prepared for communities along with place activation programs. I'm also very proud to share with you we've got a community project called Project Community Kita in which the exchange focuses on giving back to low-income community groups around the precinct. Safety Supervisor Apprenticeship Program or SSAP is a program we have delivered in which we train 104 safety apprentices. In the future, the Exchange TRX will focus a lot about growing local economic development. And what we mean by this is ensuring that we support the growth of local communities through employment, skilling and training activities as well. 
So there you go, the case study of the Exchange TRX, where I've shared with you how our retail space is equipped to deal with all types of climate change events in the next 70 to 100 years. It's important to realise that for all new developments in cities that are threatened by climate change impacts, that we focus on not just making sure the buildings are built to withstand all sorts of climate change impacts, but that we build with a conscience and we make sure that we have people in mind when we build these spaces. I'm Yasmin Rashid, Sustainability Director from Landlease, and I do hope that over this presentation, I will be able to encourage you to check out our website, learn more about the Exchange TRX and the sustainability features, and we welcome you to Kuala Lumpur.